Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a video. I am going to be doing a get ready with me following this Color Me Beautiful makeup book from the 80s. And I found this for $1.99 at a local thrift store and I was like how fun I'm so excited and I actually really I've been looking through this I haven't read the whole thing yet I will because I think it's really cute um, but basically the theories in this 80s I think it was from 1987 um, makeup book is that you kind of do your makeup according to the season and so because we are still in summer i'm going to follow the summer guide and basically i can show you some of the pages here here is i like bookmarks some of them here is the summer lady <laughs> example and i'm gonna kind of try to be doing like a little bit of a lavender look i decided and this is one of the um, I looks that I think I'm going to try to do this one here and then like basically we're going to follow the summer makeup palette which is here so yeah I just decided to kind of go with this I think it'll be fun and I want to follow what she says to do so let's just get right right into it um, first for eyebrows I'm going to do it a little differently than the order she is showing here but here is eyebrows and she says with your brow lash brush brush through the brows and smooth brush brows upward and then smooth outward so I'm gonna use this here I don't normally brush upward really upward and then outward I guess that's kind of how I normally do it upward and then outward okay and then it says using the same boundaries you use for plucking your brows feather in pencil or brow powder to fill in length or bare spots so I don't normally use brow powder but I thought because it mentioned it I'll use this little ebony brow powder duo from um, Anastasia and I'm just going to kind of fill in here I just thought this would be fun to kind of fill in not fill in um, to follow their guidelines okay so the brows are done and then I went ahead and the next part we are on the eyeshadow I'm gonna do next this is the um, look I'm following it says apply highlighter to the entire area and then a darker shade to the orbital orbital bone um, and so I went ahead and took this from the BH Cosmetics Passion in Paradise, um, not Paradise, Passion in Paris palette. I took this kind of pinky toned highlighting skin tone shade and just set my concealer for a eyeshadow base. It does mention an eyeshadow base too, so like I figured that should be fine. I don't know if they meant actually like a highlighter shade that's shimmery because I don't like to do shimmery all over the lid, but anyway, that's what I did so far and now it's just to take a darker shade into kind of like the crease bone, I think. And I grabbed a couple different palettes here. I think I'm going to start with my ColourPop. I wanted to do like a lavender look type thing here. So I'm going to start, I think, and I don't, this doesn't have a mirror, so I might be looking somewhere else. But I'm going to start with this shade here. It's like this pale purple. Let me see. It is Silver Lining from ColourPop. And I think that's a pretty lavender shade. And it kind of shows it pretty far up, so I might go farther up than I normally go with my eyeshadow. So 
I'm just kind of putting that all over the crease. I feel like this is really fun because I don't, I don't know, I feel like I love makeup and I just do it kind of the way I want to do it. So I never really like branch out, <laughs> like I do different techniques, but I feel like I pretty, pretty much stay, oh, I dipped into the shimmer accidentally. Um, I feel like I pretty much stay doing the same type of techniques, so I don't know, this should be fun. And I really enjoyed the, like, season thing. I liked how it was like, okay, winter and summer are cool tones, and spring and autumn are warm tones in this book. And it also talks about matching your clothes to your makeup and or ma matching your makeup to your clothes and I like that concept. I feel like I do that a lot. That's why I wore this lavender top because I was like it'll go with the look. Oh my god this is really like high up for me. But I feel like the 80s were known for colorful makeup so I'm trying you know we don't want to be scared of color. Okay. I really like this shade from ColourPop and I'm going to take a clean brush. It doesn't say to do this, I guess, but just kind of blend out these edges. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to take a darker shade maybe. This is the lavender color in this Paris palette and I'm kind of going to do that as well like add that in because it's a little darker so I think I might keep that a little lower in the crease powdery it is powdery okay I'm doing this first because it's gonna there's gonna be some fallout fallout so I wanted to just have it done and then wipe it and then I can do my foundation and then this is another palette here the sweet nothings by Colourpop and I think this dark purple here matches really well basically I'm following the I don't have the here it is I think yeah I'm following the color guide and I picked I pre-picked these colors before we started so basically it kind of told me lavender, lavender and light lavender here. Um, let's see what other ones. Yeah, that, this isn't all of the ones on the page, but I don't want to move the page because I'm looking at the eye look. But anyways, I kind of pre-selected these colors based on what they suggested for a certain look. So that's kind of where we're at here. I think I'm gonna take this. Let's see. I'm gonna take the darkest shade here. I mean, I could dip into this one, but I'm thinking Thule and just kind of I actually really like purple eyeshadow, so I'm excited about this look. This is just kind of like a flat brush. Yeah, it's definitely a little higher than I go with my makeup normally. And then it also shows a little bit of the darker color going like inward too like slightly in the darker part like right here and okay great let's see how we feel I gotta hold this up oh that's kind of pretty I like that 
kind of blended but also like all over the place okay next we're going to take it said a silver mauve color right in the like center of the eye so almost like what we call a halo eye nowadays and what matched the silver mauve is this one here uh, upon a star in the same ColourPop palette so I'm going to just take that on my finger actually and dab it in the middle just the middle <laughs> Okay, this is actually pretty. I feel like that does kind of add a pop to it. And it kind of said to keep this area bare, um, right in the center, the, I mean in the inner lid. Okay, we're done with that. Next we're going to do eyeliner, but let me just clean up under the eye a little bit. But for eyeliner, it is, for eyeliner, and I wanted to do like a blue mascara. So this is my Liquid Lash Extension Mascara from Thrive Cosmetics in NOLA, the deep blue. So I'm going to use that. And then um, this is a my only blue <laughs> liner. This is the Electric Blue Illuminati Gel Paint Eyeliner. So it kind of shows doing it on the lower lash line and then a little bit on the top. So that's what I'm thinking we can do. And yeah. I feel like when I think of the 80s and you know, I wasn't around, <laughs> but I when I think of the 80s, I think of this like electric blue color. But I just enjoy the um, like thought behind this book. I feel like it was very well thought out what colors to pair together and what colors to wear and then what colors you know, what colors to wear as outfits and then what to wear as makeup that matches. I don't know. I look crazy without foundation right now, but we are going to get there. Okay. hoping the uh, blue mascara will pull this together but I'm gonna do that after the fact so let's keep going and um, this eyeliner really came in handy I like it okay so let's see just gonna look in the mirror are we ready for foundation I think so what do we think so far <laughs> okay coffee break <laughs> Okay, so that is the eye look we are trying to achieve here. And it was tough to see. We'll see how it goes. But um, the, the chart I was following before was this very top one here under summer makeup wardrobe chart. And the clothing color is lavender orchid medium violet. So I chose this lavender color that's kind of how I got this look and then the lipstick blush highlighter and for eyeshadows highlighter is pale pink so I tried to go a little bit pale with that then the contour colors for the eyeshadow is cool gray grape lavender or silvered mauve and then you can find what those colors mean on this summer makeup chart and so I like that's how I kind of picked the colors I looked at pale pink silvered mauve grape, lavender, and kind of went from there. And then I did that with blush as well. But let's go to foundation. Next, 
because, oh, and skincare was interesting too. I didn't follow the skincare, but basically it said eye makeup remover, um, toner, cellul cellular renewal, or other nourisher. So I don't know if that's the old way of saying serum, <laughs> but here's what it looks like here. But um, then it says light moisturizer or night cream if needed. And then in parentheses it says repeat toner. So I've never seen that before. Nowadays I feel like you would just use your toner, serum, moisturizer, and you wouldn't repeat toner after that. Then eye cream is there. So interesting that it says to re repeat toner and also it doesn't say serum, it just says cellular and renewal or nourisher. So interesting. And then for foundation, it's based on water or oil free or oil based or oil free. I don't necessarily know for mine if it's oil free or not, but I'm going to use my Yenza BC foundation, BB and CC cream. Um, and I don't know if that was even a thing back then, but we're going to go with it. Okay. So it says, let's see, I guess I'll go with oil. I don't think it's oil free. So dot on makeup using corner of sponge. I'm going to put it on my hand first and then use corner of sponge, use downward and outward strokes. So downward and outward. Downward and outward. Okay. And then be sure to cover eye, lip, and area around nose. So this was before eyeshadow. This was supposed to be before eyeshadow, but I knew that I had some powdery shades that I didn't want any fallout with, so I didn't do the way they're saying to do. Um, but usually I actually use this part of the sponge, so it, I'm kind of changing up my application based on this because it says to use the corner kind of of the sponge, downward and outward. motions and then eye lip and area around the nose so did they want you to cover your lips or just the lip area i don't know um blend carefully at jaw is what it says and also i would normally start with primer of some sort but that it didn't say to use primer so here we are Okay, Ooh. I need a little bit more. I also usually use like an eyeshadow base um, primer. It said eyeshadow base, but I thought that was more of like a concealer thing. But I usually use that for, or like a glitter primer for my shimmers, but I didn't do that because it didn't really mention that. Okay. I look like I have way more of a tan than on my face. Like <laughs> from being outside lately. But I'm always so good about sunscreen, especially on the face, so I don't know what happened there. I'm like tanner in different spots, I guess. Okay. Now the foundation's on. Yeah, it says eyeshadow base. You can apply eyeshadow base instead of foundation to the brow and lid area, dot and blend, tip, color adjuster before applying foundation, feather, green color adjuster over ruddy areas, lavender adjust adjuster over shallow or sallow cheeks, forehead, chin, let dry, follow with foundation. So interesting. It's kind of like a color corrector, but they called it adjuster, color adjuster. Nice. Okay. Concealer. <laughs> um, and then it says minimal problem or severe problem. Um, I guess we would do minimal problem. So here's my Thrive Cosmetics concealer. Um, using under eye brush. Okay, so I don't really use an under eye brush. Apply cover stick sparingly on top of foundation. Feather on dark areas only. Pat with fingertip to blend. 
I think I'm just going to do under the eye here. Because it's a dark area only, and I feel like that's my only current dark area. Like, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I have a little, like, a pimple there, but it's not that big of a deal. So we're just going to use finger to blend. And then next is powder. Let's go to the powder page. Or no, next is actually highlighter. It's called face sculpting is the next page. So I kind of want to set my concealer though. I usually set my concealer right away. Okay, I mean, this is pretty similar to what I do now anyways, is kind of using my finger to blend. Um, okay, I might just set, let's see, let me see the powder. Let's skip to the powder recommendation. <laughs> okay, sprinkle powder in palm of hand. I found that interesting when I first read that. Dip brush in powder and shake off excess. That's kind of for everything, so I think what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Blurring Sublime, whatever it's called, powder, and I'm going to, let's see, okay, take a little bit of that and set the concealer at least, because I don't want it to smudge. This powder is annoying because it has broken on me, so there's like pieces everywhere. So I'm trying to just like use the little pieces and yeah. But I do like this powder. Today is a super rainy and crappy day and so it's kind of a nice day to just stay inside. I kind of want to read. I'm reading a really good book right now. It's um, like a cozy mystery type of book. And so I'm like, I just want to read today, relax, maybe watch a movie or something. We'll see. But yeah, no one's probably going to see this makeup look besides my boyfriend. We'll see what he thinks <laughs> about this. 80s look. I think it's gonna be fun. Okay, so concealer all set. Let's keep going. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's go to face sculpting. Apply highlighter down center of. No, I feel like I have to. Mm, some shades. No, okay, I'm going to do powder next. I'm just skipping the powder. Okay. Sprinkle powder in palm of hand. So it must have been loose powder is what I'm suspecting. Let me put the cap on my foundation. I can't wait for the blue mascara. It's really going to tie it in, hopefully. Okay, we're going to take my Milk Makeup Blur and Set loose powder. And we're going to, okay, how do I keep this? Let's see. Sprinkle powder in... Oh my god, this is going to get messy. Okay, sprinkle powder in palm of hand. I'm trying to keep the book open. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Sprinkle powder in palm of hand. Dip brush, dip brush in powder and shake off access. Oh my god. Brush on... Oh, whoops, I'm already not listening. I usually do my nose first. Brush on forehead first, then cheeks. Okay, let's do one step at a time, Shan, come on. Forehead first. I just don't understand why you put it in your hand like this. That is so funny. This is not something I'm gonna continue to do. Like, I'm not enjoying this. Cause it's like all over the place. I got it literally all over my legs. <laughs> I can't believe it. Do people used to do this? Do people still do this? I I would dip it in the cap. <laughs> Personally, 
Okay. Forehead's good. Next is cheeks. I'm literally picking it up from my legs. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my bigger brush. Let's see. Oh my god. Okay. Um, next. Okay. So we need a little bit more in the palm of my hands here. <laughs> cheeks is next. I don't know. I wonder if they used cream blush or bronzer. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Having to put it into my hand. I feel like I'm not putting enough in my hand because I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, I think the cheeks are done. And then nose. So I'm going to go back to my other brush. Usually I do the T-zone with this brush first, but they're having me do it a different order. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Chin and eyes. So this would, would have been before eyeshadow, but I did it differently. Oh, using downward strokes. Was I even using downward strokes? <laughs> Darn it. Okay. I think I'm good. Okay, that was an interesting way of applying powder. And then it's a to tip tip to add overall glow dip powder brush lightly in blush, then in powder. Oh, Wow, okay. See, my powder is kind of translucent though, so I don't know if that tip would work. But we will, I like that, okay. Interesting. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Oh my gosh. So, that's kind of interesting, putting the blush all over basically, but not. Okay, blush, I'm reading it here. It's just the same little like diagram but different okay let's see so what they recommended for blush was like a soft rose and it looked exactly like this from from my collection this was the one that looked like it the blush rose ofra blush um so let me get a brush here and we're gonna well you know what actually let's should we do mascara first that's the question. We're going all out of order. Let's do mascara first, actually, because we did eyeliner and eyeshadow. And, yes. Okay, mascara. Apply mascara to upper lashes first. Okay, so I'm not going to curl them, I guess. And we're just going to go for it. Here is the blue shade. I'm not going to focus because I... I don't think I have that setting on it. <laughs> okay, upper lashes first. And then apply to lower lashes. Home lashes to separate, let dry, light dusting with translucent powder, and then repeat. Oh my goodness. That's kind of a lot of work. So with this mascara, you're not supposed to apply it because it's a tubing mascara. You're not supposed to apply it again after your first, like, you know, you can apply as many coats as you'd like, but not... Once it dries, it'll like flake after that. So, and also I can't imagine putting translucent powder, even though it's translucent, I feel like it'll still show somehow on the lashes. I don't know about that. That's, I don't think I'm doing that tip, but interesting. <laughs> Okay. 
We are blue, all blue. <laughs> okay. I don't know why it looks more blue under the side a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to blush and then lips and then I think we're ready for a party in the 80s. Oh wait, we didn't do face sculpting. Okay. Um, apply highlighter down center of the nose and crest of cheeks. Okay, let's do this. What highlighter do I use? Okay, I feel like I'll use my Ofra Star Island, I guess, because it's right here. Okay, down the center of the nose. And crest of cheekbones. So it kind of shows where I normally would apply highlight. Okay, a little more inward than they would. Okay. Then apply contour shade. All right, let's contour then. Let me get, I need a, I'm just gonna use this one here. Hanalea Matte Bronzer here. Side of the nose. Okay, um, bevels of tip of nose, bevels at, oh, at tip of nose, so like here. Oh my god, that looks kind of noticeable. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Hollows of cheeks. Okay. Oh my god, that highlight looks kind of crazy. And forehead and above outer half of brow. So it literally shows it like this, like from brow to there. Okay. We are contoured. And this is, face sculpting is best for the evening, it says. So you don't have to do this during the day, I guess. Okay, that's kind of weird. Okay, um, if upper lid lip is thin, apply a thin rim of highlighter along edge of lips. Okay, sure. Blend so effect is subtle, so we gotta blend a little bit. I like to sometimes take my powder brush and just kind of get that going everywhere to blend everything. All right, wow. That was, it didn't say jawline. Oh wait, no, it shows jawline, but it didn't say jawline. Okay, let's do the jawline too. Okay. And now we can get on to blush. Okay, okay. Blush. We did all of that. Okay, blush. Apply blush along cheekbone. Where's my blush brush? And Oprah. Starting right under outer ridge of iris. So like over here. Okay, feathering into hairline at top of ha at top of the half ear. Okay, so that's kind of further than I usually like to go. Do not cover top of cheekbone or go below hollow of cheek. So very upward, up and out. <laughs> Blend edges with contour brush. Okay, into the top part of the cheek it looks like okay and then we're gonna take the contour brush where the heck did I put it here and blend 
looks a little more like dramatic a little bit than what I usually like like to go okay narrow face and wide face I would say I have a little more narrow apply blusher from outer edge of eye blending back not up toward eye center so up here a little bit outer edge of eye yeah a little bit up here interesting I feel like that's kind of crazy do I apply even more okay let's go to lips next I have two options okay lips where are the lips okay keep lips relaxed outline lips so I have two choices I can't decide which one I have Revlon pink in the afternoon just because I know this was a famous color back then or gold digger terracotta from um from real her I think I'm gonna go pink in the afternoon let's see how pink in the afternoon looks and then we can add a little bit of that one okay outline lips oh with brush or pencil well divide mouth in half and work from outer edge slightly raise corner of lips to lips face to lift face yeah this one's too pink for this look for me so we're gonna add a little bit of real heart this was more true to the color that they suggested for this look but wow okay here we are we finish the look <laughs> what do we think this book was so interesting and fun to follow along I hope you enjoyed this Would you wear this look? Would you follow this book? If you want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. <laughs> this was really fun. I feel like it's just a little more bold than I normally go. I would wear this eye look for sure, but the blue mascara and the blue eyeliner I normally never wear. And then this bright of a lip here is a little even the pink in the afternoon one was a little bright for me i usually stick to more nude pinks and also the placement of the blush and yeah mostly the blush is a little different but let me know what you guys think i think this was really a fun look it was really fun looking through this i feel like I should do this for all of the seasons. I feel like this is, this is a summer look, but there's all different options going on in here. One of, this is only one of all the possibilities in there. So yeah, 